To start the day, we consider freedom. Freedom isn't just about unshackling physical bonds, but it's about breaking down mental barriers too. Daniel J. Borston put it beautifully when he said it's the opportunity to become what we never imagined we could be. However, breaking these barriers doesn't always come with immediate rewards. Like Francesco Bucciardini puts it, the gains from our generous deeds might not be evident right away. They might come much later and in ways we least expect. The tapestry of life is woven with threads of history. We are tied to our past and in turn, our past is filled with their own histories. As James A. Baldwin pointed out, people are trapped in history and history is imprisoned in them. We also understand that help comes in different forms. When Epicurus said that our friend's confidence in helping us is more beneficial than the help itself, he was reminding us about the power of trust and the strength it can provide. Good friends, as pointed out by Lee Akaka, can be considered a measure of a life well lived. No doubt, the number of sincere friends you've got at your side when you're at your lowest matters more than anything. Consider what ability means to you today. Charlotte Witten emphasized that everyone has capability, but its value lies in how we utilize it. So, it isn't about what we have, but how we use what we have. Fascinatingly, the simple concept of adventure had its value highlighted by Aesop some 2,500 years ago. Embarking on an adventure can translate into taking risks, stepping outside our comfort zones, rich learning experiences. It's certainly worthwhile. And finally, ponder upon the contrast between talent and genius. Edward G. Bowyer Lytton asserted that talent does what it can, while genius does what it must. In simple words, talent might follow a path, but genius creates its own path.